everybody, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and this is my baby right here, Gladys Jackson, Pastor Gladys Jackson, her son Ray, we went to high school together. This is the gruesome threesome right here, y'all. <laughs> Handsome son and beautiful spirit of a woman with a knucklehead self. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for financing my trip. Amen. As you can see, this is a picture of her in my background. I'm outside in her front yard because I don't want to wake her up. She's sleeping so well, she's getting a nap. Now, Gladys Jackson has worked herself to the bone, serving God. She is responsible for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people coming to the Lord. And now her body takes its rest whether she's ready for it or not. So what I just want to share with you guys is I really appreciate how the Lord made a way. And some of you partook in that blessing. And I thank you. God bless you. And if you're wondering why I wasn't on YouTube answering comments and all that, it's because I was spending my time with her. I don't know how much longer she has left. And I wanted to make sure I was here while she could remember who everybody was. God bless you and thank you again. Remember the one thing you used to tell me? What's that? If a person had a bad attitude, mm -hmm. get the truth out of it. Mm -hmm. You can spit the rest out, but get the truth out of it. Mm -hmm. And you'll always be able to grow. Mm -hmm. You remember you told me that? Mm -mm. You don't remember? Mm -mm. <laughs> See, folks, that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember, huh? No, I don't remember. Oh, poor baby. But he changed me. Yes, he did. Thank God he did. Yep. We were having such sweet communion together. Gladys Jackson, Loretta, and myself. We had a ball. We weren't doing anything exciting, but I'm telling you, it was so much love that was moving around on that little porch that summer afternoon. It was beautiful. When I watch the video playback, it just brings tears to me. Listen to what Loretta had to say. And then when I had the bi uh, uh, Bible study over there with the kids, yeah, that's our motto was, what has the Lord done for you today? Right. And they had to tell me what the Lord had done for them. Then I say, now what did you do for the Lord? Hello. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she look cool with, with that hat on yeah. her head? Hey. <laughs> Well, see, God's people don't lose their cool. <laughs> they just lose the sin. This woman took me under her wing. Used to call me Pattywhack. Used to tell my father, Now, Mr. Love, you need to give your heart to the Lord. Yep. Yeah, he just teased Gladys, huh? <laughs> he made it, though. Yes, he did. He made it. Wow. It's a beautiful day out here. Very Look at that. Beautiful. beautiful day. See the birds in the trees. It's God. <laughs> and the love that I feel. It's God. And the knuckleheads I have to put up with. It's God. <laughs> It's God, it's God, oh, it's God. <laughs> Damn, <fantastic. laughs> oh, she thinks her ministry was different from because she felt a man locked up is not free. Right. And he's not free to be himself. Right. So they do all what they say in that prison when they come out. Then they be themselves. They do what they're going to do. Right. So she allowed in her ministry, they leave uh, at 7 and had to be back at 10.30. Right. They had the drug man standing on the corner. So they now, I had to turn the sound down because the guy was revving up his engine and you couldn't hear what she said. 
So I repeated it. So you said they had the drug man standing at the corner. The corner. They had to get past him to get home on time. Mm -hmm. Without they getting high. To leave without getting high. With, look at and that. And they had to get out there in their world and learn how to walk in it without getting high and get back high. Without getting and caught up in it. And wow. She, uh, um, she gave them ch three chances. They had three chances. Yeah. And she tell them. And so when they really mess up, at that third time, she yeah. never put nobody out. They just packed up and left because they know they weren't ready. Look at that. And they come back. Yes, they when ready. they were ready. When they were ready. Look at they that. they had to see it was about who they were and that they had to make those steps. Right. Not not nobody tell them what to do and right. how to do it. They right. They had to learn how to walk in their An act of your own will. Out of their own will. Yes, the freedom to choose right. Yes. That's beautiful, Gladys. Yeah, you kind of knew what you were doing a little bit, huh? It is Sunday morning, and Loretta and I helped her with a shower, and I got her dressed, and I hooked her hair up, got her makeup on and her jewelry, and I wanted her to feel beautiful. I was her hairdresser for basically decades. So I just got her all hooked up, put a little earrings on, make her feel all special. And she is beaming, isn't she? <laughs> Boy, it's been a long time since I got her all cutied up. <laughs>